that sauce mm. it is hot oh yeah it's spicy that's that oh man that's that looking at my wife will smith spicy slapping kind of chicken sauce i love it Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. I'm your host, Justin. You guys, I am here at Moe's Southwest Grill. I think probably for the first time on the channel because they just dropped something brand new. <laughs> Their new spicy chicken. Now you can get the spicy chicken from Moe's apparently for a limited time. I'm not sure why they're not keeping it on the menu, but they otherwise don't have a spicy chicken option until now. You can get it on anything you want. You can get it, oh God, I think there's a wasp in here again. So I'm not sure if I should shut the windows or not. I guess we'll find out if I start screaming here in a second and blow up like an anaphylactic balloon because I don't have my EpiPen. Now again, the spicy chicken is new and you'd think to yourself, hmm, that's not very innovative, spicy chicken. How did they never have that before? Well, I actually talked to the manager here at the Burlington, North Carolina location. And she says that it's not just that they top the sauce on there. By the way, the sauce that we're talking about is their hard rock and roll sauce. It is their hottest sauce, which they've already had on the menu. But in this case, they're not just dumping it on there and calling it a day. No, no, she's telling me that that's just one of the processes in the cooking. They actually cook with the sauce. They're doing some other things to it and they also are adding jalapenos. So this is it, the new Mo Southwest Grill spicy chicken, and I got it in a burrito. Whoa! Chipotle, who I know they probably hate to be compared to, but let's just be honest, it's like a Chipotle if you've never been to a Mo's. It's a burrito uh, bar kind of place, fast food, you go in, take stuff out, it's big. Yeah. Huge burrito. And I'm clearly making a mistake by taking it out of its wrapper, but I wanna show you this. I wish I had like a banana here for scale. Let's use a 20 ounce soda. It's as big as a 20 ounce soda and definitely heavier. This thing is packing a punch. We're talking about rice, black beans, pico de gallo, you know, sour cream, fresh jalapenos, and of course that new spicy chicken. Also guacamole's on the house and they give you free chips and salsa which i have a huge bag of here enough talk let's just get right into it because i'm super hungry you guys it's been a few weeks since i've been on the channel i haven't eaten a thing since then i hope you have hope everybody's doing well little jalapeno sticking out let's do it big bite annihilated mm. that is spicy for sure really has a nice kick to it I love spicy food you can see you got the black beans in there the sour cream chilling that sauce mm. it is hot oh yeah it's spicy that's that oh man that's that looking at my wife Will Smith spicy slapping kind of chicken sauce. I love it. You almost have to hold this like a like a torch and just kind of eat off of it. That's my eating technique. If I were to turn this over, it would just dump everywhere. You can get your choice of pinto beans. I went with black beans. Again, fresh jalapenos. Let's see if I can just show you some of this. I'd like to see some of the chicken, so you can as well. There it is. That new spicy chicken. First it starts as their adobo chicken, and then I'm told they cook it in this hard rock and roll sauce and some other things. Again, your mileage may vary. I'm just going on what I was just told inside. Maybe they do cook it different. Maybe they don't. I, I don't know. If you work at Moe's Southwest Grill, can you enlighten us a little down in the comments? Let us know what's different 
about this. Obviously, it's spicy. But to me, I would just think you could just get their old chicken, I guess, the regular adobo chicken, and have just added this spicy, this hard rock and roll spicy sauce. I got a cup of it right here. And why not just take the spicy chicken burrito and just add some of that? I don't know if it tastes any different. I don't know that it makes it any hotter, but apparently this is new, the spicy chicken. They're just kind of doing it for you, making their previous adobo chicken spicy. So not a huge revelation, not a huge innovation, but definitely something new. And again, apparently for a limited time, I don't know why they're not gonna keep it on the menu. Mm. huge titillation of information that you just couldn't live without was not enough. Moe's is also doing this special promotion. They've got like a vacation rental down in Miami that you can get for the summer, May 2022. Apparently you can reserve it and it is based around this spicy chicken promotion. So it's like a spicy chicken apartment or spicy chicken rental for couples, a couples retreat where you can just enjoy spicy chicken again never knowing that you couldn't live without it but once you get this i think you'll appreciate the taste it's pretty good i wish the burrito had more meat less rice i feel like every bite i get is nothing but rice i'm gonna just show you get all the shit off of here that is the spicy chicken in all of its glory. Just chunks of chicken. It is spicy. Gotta be honest. Mmm. Big, 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 big. I think on a scale of one to ten for the new spicy chicken burrito. Again, you can get this in other ways as a bowl, as a taco as a quesadilla, whatever you want. Either way, you're definitely gonna be getting something kicked up, amped up. It's gonna be spicier than most people would be comfortable with or be looking for, but it's still really good. Oh, we got Farmer John here parking next to us. Farmer John, everybody. Farmer John, making an appearance on the channel. Huge, empty, open parking lot. Had to park right next to me. These are the things you guys don't know about that all food reviewers have to go through. Anyway, I think on a scale of one to 10 for the new spicy chicken burrito, it's still caught in the back of my throat. <laughs> That's what she said, or Farmer John. Pretty good, but about a seven. Not really getting huge layers of chicken kind of just looks like dark meat chunks. Again, the manager says they're cooking with it. I don't know how that changes it. And it was only for a limited time. So I guess after this promotion is gone and you're craving spicy chicken suddenly and you go into Moe's, they're not gonna be able to satisfy your gluttonous appetites. So you're just gonna have to order the old chicken and go back to the sauce, I guess, and probably get the same result. A seven for Moe's and I am gonna do it a last bite, big bite. But I think instead of the burrito, and I could easily, this is half of a burrito, I kind of wanted to try the spicy chicken in a taco with their guacamole, queso, and bacon inside of it. And that's what I got right here. A Moe's taco, hard shell taco. I'm glad I did again, because the burrito is just full of rice. Take a look, there it is. That spicy chicken, you see how it's just chunks of chicken? Still really tasty. Eh, it's a seven, it's a seven. Dave Portnoy would say 6.8. Let's do it you guys, last bite, big bite. As always, thanks again everybody for checking out another great review here on Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host Justin, you know you love it, you came back for some more of it, I'll be back for another fast food review. The spicy chicken. Get it for a limited time, and then after that, just make it yourself for Moe's Southwest Grill. Welcome to the Moe's! Let's do it.
big bite. Okay, okay. We'll also do the half of the burrito. And we're gonna add some more of their spiciest hard rock and roll sauce on it, you guys. Thank you for staying to the end. You guys win. Let's do it. Wow, God, this is gonna be wet. Cheers. Good stuff, you guys. Big bite. 